It's the start of a new year, which means that we have the once in a lifetime opportunity to decide who we want to be. Do we want to exercise more? Read maybe a certain amount of books in the year? Become filthy rich? If you think about it, it's kind of funny how this one day a year inspires us to make these changes in our life and to become a better person. The thing is, New Year's resolutions get a bad rap. And I think that's because we go about them in the completely wrong way. You see, the main problem with New Year's resolutions is that for a lot of us, New Year's is the one day a year and one day only that we actually plan, set goals, and are actually motivated enough to make changes to become something better. It's great to make plans, changes, and goals in order to level up your life. But the reason that a lot of us make fun of New Year's resolutions is because for a lot of us, that's where we stop. We miss the important part. Yes, we've made goals and plans for this new year, but how exactly are we gonna achieve them? So let's go with a common example of a New Year's resolution, exercising more. You see, anybody can come to the conclusion that in 2023, they want to lose more weight. That is the easy part. And for a lot of us, that could even be the obvious part. The tricky part about setting these big goals is actually sitting down and figuring out what are the small steps that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis to bring you even just a little bit closer to this big goal. In this case, losing weight and exercising. You see, the thing is having a big goal is of course important as we need to know what we're working towards. What are we actually trying to achieve? If a big goal is the only thing we have, we can very easily become overwhelmed by it. We can become too scared or even just too confused on how to take the first step to even achieve this massive goal we've set, which will unfortunately lead a lot of us to stay with the same lazy habits that we've already set for ourselves and come to the same conclusion as a lot of people. Well, there's always next year. You see, what I'm trying to say here is that creating goals is extremely easy. However, if you do not have a plan, you have not made goals. What you've created for yourself is called a dream. And you see, the difference between a goal and a dream is the intentionality to achieve it. Now, let me tell you that setting a goal for yourself and actually achieving it feels way better than any dream you could have set for yourself. And this is exactly what I want for myself in 2023. So to go into further on how to do this and what it exactly looks like, let's go into the goals that I've set for myself in 2023. So for my goals for 2023, I have thought of four main categories. That is physical, creative, spiritual, and professional. Now I know these are extremely broad categories, uh, but let's dive in a little bit deeper and see in each of these categories, what exactly do I want out of myself for 2023? So to start it off with physical, this is actually a category uh, that I'm very proud of myself and I did a very good job in 2022 of sticking with the goals that I set for myself. And that was working out about three to four times a week, which I wanna continue into 2023. Um, and then something that I just introduced recently was uh, counting calories. This is something that I wanna really nail down in 2023. Now for creative, um, the main way that I wanna push this goal in 2023 is through this YouTube channel. And I think the best way and the way that I can feel accomplished in that is by ensuring that I put out a video once a week. Now for my professional category, uh, this is one that's definitely, I'm just getting the wheels turning on this one. In 2023, I wanna release a small clothing line. Uh, this has been a goal of mine for a couple years now. I've mentioned that in previous videos. Um, but I think 2023 is the year that I really wanna see this happen. And again, this is still gonna be quite a broad goal, um, but I'm gonna be doing more research and diving into what exactly achieving this goal looks like. Now for spiritual, I think it is very important to prioritize spiritual growth in your life. Um, and for me, what that looks like is prioritizing going to church on Sundays and really ensuring that I actually read my Bible once a day. Now these goals that I just went over are much more specific. However, without the proper planning, they will join the millions of other resolutions that go down the dumpster. Now I gotta be honest with you guys, although I'm saying all this stuff about planning and setting goals, um, this is something that I struggle with as well. This is a human problem. Uh, I'm not exempt from that. I am a very go with the flow kind of guy. My model for life is whatever happens, happens. Unfortunately, that motto doesn't get a whole lot done, um, or at least not in the timeline that I would like them to. I found a technique that I'm gonna start implementing into my life, and that technique can be summed up as going into every day with not just a purpose, 
but an actual plan. Now before I go into the technique, let me explain how my brain thinks about it. You see, we all set goals December 31st of what we want for the next year. Now imagine if we treated every single day like December 31st, except with a resolution for that 24 hour period. Now, if you think about this technique for a little bit too long, uh, you'll realize that what I've described is commonly known as a to-do list. However, however, don't dismiss it. This age-old technique of the to-do list can have a radical impact on your goals for 2023. So what we need to do is go into every single day with a plan. And the way that I'm gonna be approaching this is going into every single day with a to-do list of about three to five things that I wanna actually accomplish in that 24 hour period. Now these three to five things don't have to be anything crazy or intense. Like your thing doesn't have to be, oh, I wanna run a marathon today, or I want to make $1,000 today. It can be as simple as saying, hey, you know what? I wanna make my bed today. I wanna phone a friend that I haven't reached out to in a long time today. You see, a New Year's resolution doesn't have to be something that is life-changing. What a resolution really should be is something that just makes us a better person. And for our resolutions that are these big things, big picture ideas, what we can add to our three to five uh, point list for that day is something that we can tangibly do in that day to bring us just a little bit closer. You see, I think the important part about setting a resolution isn't about achieving it, it's simply about being better than where you were at the start of the year. If we look at our goals that we set for ourselves as something that we have to achieve, I think we can often be left dissatisfied with our progress. Progress is progress. You are a better person, and if at the end of the year, that is what you've accomplished, being a better person, that sounds like a success and a win to me. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I am very excited for 2023 um, and the things that I've planned for myself. I'm excited to see who I am at the end of the year and I hope that you feel the same way. So guys, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And as I said earlier, I'm gonna be trying to put out a video a week. So thanks again and I'll see you then. See ya.